Oh, man! I can't stand you! Do you think? Well done, Oliver. Well done, that's well done, mate. <laughs> Well, everyone, it appears Oliver, unfortunately, has won the race. Don't worry, Oliver. Hello. Hello. So, each of us are now going to go to our own. Accommodations that we booked. And tomorrow we will be heading to the Tanikoo Railway. Yeah! For the Audrey and Jamaica! Yeah! Yeah! We're back! Yes! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> we are back at the Tanikoo Railway for the Audrey. Extravaganza. It's something you haven't seen. Well, it's a thingy. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. yet. But yeah, everything will be just like before. Yeah. 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 As you see, our no, recent vlogs. Well, not recent, but last, but last year, so two years ago. Yes. Eleven forty-five. We'll be hedging a ride with the handle. Yes, we certainly are. Yep. Yeah. What time is it going to be? 11.45. That's the one I'm on. Nice. You're on our train. Are you on our train? But yeah. Hopefully we'll meet more. We'll meet a lot of people and our friends. I'm giving Oliver here a better chance of meeting our friends. Yeah. And more people than like last time. I know, well, I certainly know, mate. I certainly know. Okay. But yeah, other than that, we hope you all enjoy day one yeah. of the event. Also recording on my end. So, for those that have those Yeah, enjoy! Enjoy! Is that who I think it is, Oliver? Oh, it's Rusty! It's Fred and Rusty! Yeah! <laughs> there they both are. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in on my camera. Or people in the white house. Come around here in a second. Here they are. The two little diesels. Oh, look, Oliver! Do you notice something different about Rusty? They're black! They are black! Oh, yeah, they're be painted black, just like they are in the railway series. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I like that. 
I really like that! A Maui series! Hey! I like that! Oh, so do I!
Will be to bodies, uh, finding out I'd, rather want, I'd rather have a cat in my chat to meet Wall Street than any more of your sorry sequels. Yeah. And then when I seen the pub special and I was just like, I better get back down and see if the train is still down the end. <laughs> Just go double back tomorrow and then roll down and just um, 
in your current state, just roll out and just, um, just stand as a public display. You know what I think she'll do next year? Maybe, maybe he'll be the school this year or... or they, they said their plan is to... I think the one I is ready to come back before the end of the year. No, the <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. Hi, Luke. Hello. Hello. So, you know, Bye. And we're back. Bye. Have a have a ride on either Hughes bedstead right now, aren't we, Oliver? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just have a ride on the bedstead. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> As I was saying, we're going to have a ride on either Hughes bedstead. Yeah. We're going to get the tickets and then hitch the ride. We'll, be, we'll, hitch, we'll hitch a ride on either Hughes bedstead, alright? <laughs> <laughs> Love that you love that you face.
good straight, isn't it? Mm hmm. My accommodation, my Disney fans. <sighs> Day one of the Audrey extravaganza was so amazing. It's like better than last year, in my opinion. I bought more models with me than before, and and met up with like a few more people, including some great ones, including Luke Ryan himself, and everything else at the event. Me and Oliver Featherwing didn't do much, apart from showing off our custom models and toys and such, and, and I showed him around a bit more of the railway, and, and took him to see the entrance of the Garden Railway that he missed when he first went there two years ago. And I also helped him meet more people. Our friends, special people, big users, you name it. And we all gave a huge cheer to our old friend Dolgok, who I thought was going to be dressing up as Reneas for the event, but I guess I was wrong. He was actually dressed up as Smudger. One of the mids one of the mid solo engines who was turned into a generator. Well, in the TV series basically. But still, it is great to see Dolgog back in Steam. And even more so that I got to see him for the first time in ever. And we also hitched a train ride with the handle and we took a trolley ride with Ivor Hughes Bedstead aka Mark 5 or Mark as I prefer to call him. We, two of us along with our friends Kirsty, Adam Casper, the 
the two Daniels on the Blue Engine 99 and Slurpy Dan and Rizzo is... <sighs> wow. I got no words. Oh! Of course, I almost forgot. Right behind me are some goodies that I bought at the gift shop at Turwin. Well, most of them. The other two are gifts that were given to me at the railway by two friends of mine. I'll show you the gifts that I got first. First off, it's a take along Reneus. Give it to me by one of my great friends, Rizzo Studios. Rizzo, if you're watching this, thank you again for Reneus. I really appreciate it. And the other one is a small Twilight Sparkle plushie right here. A unicorn Twilight Sparkle, really, because she has no wings. She was given to me by my good friend Kirsty, aka Rosie the Cutie 1995. She didn't she didn't want this Twilight Sparkle plushie anymore. And me being a massive fan of Twilight Sparkle, as she knows I am. She thought about giving it to me. Kirsty. Thank you again. Really, thank you. I really, really, really appreciate it. Really, I do. Sorry, I almost got a little emotional there. This is just so cute. Now let's get on to the goodies, shall we? I'll start with the small one. Here I have with me is the Audrey Extravaganza 2023 bag, pin badge. Now, I know I only got part of an Audrey Extravaganza pin badge. That's the last year's one. I just, I just couldn't resist buying another one to go with my last year's one. I'm going to be wearing this tomorrow, along with the other. Foot day two. And the other is an Audrey Extravaganza 2023 cap hat. With Douglas, aka Duncan. And it's a blue one as well. Which, is, which I'm also going to be wearing tomorrow to the event. For day two. And the other, and the final goodie is another Audrey Extravaganza t-shirt, a 2023 one. Yes, I know, I've now got two. <laughs> and, as you, and as you saw at the start of this vlog, I took my Tani Klim polo t-shirt with me. Meaning I'm a, so am I going to be wearing that, that tomorrow? Well... Sorry to say this, but I'm gonna have to wear this tomorrow because I because I couldn't resist. I don't want it to be a waste. But I am gonna be wearing my Tani Klin the railway polo shirt for the journey back back on Monday. So don't you worry, it won't be all wasteful. And uh, I also brought back another souvenir, which I'm gonna get if you excuse. this or what's inside this paper bag well that is a piece of Welsh coal 
Yes. I didn't... Now, before you ask, I didn't ask a railway staff or an, en or an engine driver for a piece of Welsh coal. Oh, there were a few lumps scattered in the ground of the, of the rail... By the, by, the by the track lines. And me and Oliver picked a piece each up to keep as a souvenir. So now basically we have two pieces of coal. One from the one is the flying Scotsman's coal. And the other a piece of Welsh coal for the Tally Clean Railway. Plus the slate for the on the railway. Which makes two souvenirs from the rail from the Tally Clean Railway. And I also and I also did get another souvenir, which is in one of my plastic bags. If you'll excuse, our souvenir are the Tally Clear Railway souvenir tickets. Me and Oliver tried out that ticket machine thing in the museum. It only costed twenty pence to try it out, supposedly for one ticket, but instead we surprisingly end up with two. <laughs> Me and the machine must be working properly. Properly. <laughs> so that's pretty much the goodies I've got for today. Am I going to be buying buying a few more tomorrow? Maybe not. But we'll see. Because I am trying to limit myself up buying stuff, to be honest. But tomorrow... Me and Oliver are going back to the railway for day two. But we'll be going to the es to the Audrey Exhibition tomorrow for one o'clock to look at the Farqua layout and all the stuff of the rail of the railway series on display. And after that, we will be riding the Pop Special pulled by Duncan. And speaking of Duncan, we also got to see Duncan's new face that he just received. Yep, I have a picture proof of it right there. As you can see, he looks very grumpy in this. Not pleased at all. <laughs> uh, but he's our grumpy engine that we know and love. We'll always love him for who he is, no matter what. <sighs> so that, so now Peter, Sam, and Duncan now have new faces. Even though Peter, Sam, make it a Edward Thomas is away for an overhaul right now, for ten years. But still, that makes two engines. And me and Oliver don't know who's gonna be next, either. Dolgoch, Sir Hayden, Tomwald, Alf, or Midlander. But I guess we'll have to wait and see if the event goes on next year. But enough about that, we are probably going to do a slightly bit more than, than today. Like memes and recreations and such with a few friends of ours. We were supposed to do one today, but none of us had the time. Right before a few of us had to leave. But we're gonna do the do the tomorrow. If we have time. So that's all I have to say about day one. And I hope you all enjoy it everyone. And I will see you in day two. And here we are again! Yeah. <laughs> day two, aka okay, the last day of the Audrey Extravaganza. Yeah. As you know, we are back at the world. Yeah. As you can see here, there's Ivo Hugh running around through his Yeah. 
there's probably not going to be a lot to do today apart from the, es the yeah. exhibition yeah. at one o'clock and the pop special at 1 30. yeah we're looking forward for that indeed so not if we have nothing much to say apart from enjoy day two yeah Don't give me that look, Duncan. Enjoy yourself. Oh, that one's beautiful. I like this bird, Duncan. But I like the back hand of the bird. 
We deserve that. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and that as well. Sounds like he's bad. <laughs> Definitely deserve that. Yeah. I just found it funny when I was my mom was like <laughs> <laughs> Look what we started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know they did. Yeah, maybe, maybe I did. Oh. Oh, this would be fun. No, I'm probably not casting. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, not a good idea. <laughs> Wow.
Did your dad move? I forgot what movie it is, but it's those kids that were. Nice one! <laughs> hey! Yeah, nice one, man! Study on there, mate! Yes, we're just having a look about. <laughs> yeah. Here we are in the exhibit, Oliver. What, what are you looking at? Oh my god, yeah. It's the BBC James model. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, look at this.
So what do you think my Thomas? This is not good. It's good, it's very nice. Yeah, this is a It's not ice, it's not It's not ice, it's not ice. It's, yeah, Series 3 Thomas. This is my Series 3 Thomas. Okay, everyone, we just been to the exhibition. We just been to the exhibition. It was all amazing. Right now, we're on the pop special. And as a bonus, we're in one of the SPR coaches. Yep. So. We'll be going as far as Africa and Norway for this, for this train to have lunch there and a drink. Yeah. Because that's what this train is a pop special. Yeah. Well, no, he's not. <laughs> yeah, he's very not happy. He's grumpy today. Don't know why, though. But who cares? He's our grumpy boy. So, we hope you enjoy the journey, everyone. Yeah. Oh, my God. Up we go! Pop special! Here we go! Woo! Time for the pop special! Right behind it? Yeah! He's in front of us! Oh! Go! 
And so, that's a pop special train ride. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Right, that is. <laughs> No, I just gotta wait for the guard to open the doors and take, and we get off. Oh, yep. Yeah. Save so on, just gonna put my bag on. Right. I'm sulking right to my left. That's the pop special, everyone. You can sit in the car and sulk. We don't know yet. So, what we need to do is get on the train and treat ourselves to some lunch. Yeah. Tickets. Custom tickets. Oh, yeah. It's gone through. <laughs> hey. That looks like um. You got to have a good old now. Hmm. Let's see. The way he is still here. Ah. As I'm a here. I see him. We're just going to enjoy ourselves, get some scallops and enjoy this, and we head back to the Shelly Street 16, get some VHS release. Right, into the station cafe we go. Yes. Me and Oliver are at Abergano Wynn, having a spot of sandwich. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Lovely. Lovely cheese sandwich, really. Oh. Well, the sandwich is the only thing we got. We got some biscuits. Is there anyone from the train to tow in? And, um, some sea salted crisps. And the, can and the drink cans. <laughs> but yeah, this pop special is really is special. Yeah. It's, it's nice to have it's nice to have have some have something something to eat <laughs> rather than just a pop drink I bet it was this place when Wilbert left that refreshment thing behind here he comes So I don't care. I can't really see that, but yeah. It's Mika Van switching the points. Go on, switch them back. Sorry about all of this. Uh, my natural oh, impulse. Yeah, that's 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 I didn't know it. It was a six minute of time. That's why I'm more like going to go for it. Don't forgive me. I'm a lot more blunt than the most of the Thomas fans. Hey! Hey! hey. Grumpy Bye. 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 Did you really? We did. We did. We did. We did. Oh, I meant like the, um, the, the lecture live stream. Oh, well, we, no, we didn't, we didn't watch it. No, we didn't watch it. It was fully booked. Mm -hmm.
Well, I mean, like, they've done it live streamed, haven't they? Picture of you. We didn't have time to watch it. No. They had live streamed tickets. Oh, it was fun. It was really fun last night. Yeah, Caitlin got to go up on stream. She did, yeah. They did. Oh, they did. They did again. Yeah. And apart from what Barry's actually going to be, what what else did they reveal? The fact that the Craig the Craig Railway was originally built to meet up with the Peel Goddard line. Uh, but they sort of ran out of money halfway through. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did. And the fact that the uh, the railway itself is uh, long gone now, to the point where the farmers have literally ripped the rails up and used it as fencing. It originally started out as a stunt again. Yeah, I. I think it's pumping my finger. No, I'm fine. What is it? It's a hoverfly. A hoverfly. Hoverfly. Yeah, they look. They look like wasps, but they're um, they're not. Not going off me. Just pull one of them. It's not. Not that. Sorry, it's bad enough.
This is it. Yeah, sadly. We are about to leave the, the Tally Klim Railway and the Audrey Extravaganza. Yeah. For the very last time. Mm -hmm. Remember, Lady Vicky, I'm racing you home. Indeed you are, but... I hope for your sake you don't miss the train like, le like last time. Hopefully I won't. Well, kind of the better. I don't want to get too cocky, but I want you to win. I want you to win, honestly, because you had a bad time on Friday. I want you to win this time. I appreciate that, Oliver, but well, you got a better chance. Uh, so anyway, well, we don't if, know. If you got a better chance. You would have had a better chance even if I if I took the late if I if my train wasn't late anyway. Well, we don't know either. Either bad roads or road works or traffic jams. We don't know. But yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. So we see we'll we'll be seeing you a lot at the station. We'll see you at the station, everyone. And I was and I will see you back at the when I reveal my goodies at the, at my accommodation. And Oliver will see you guys on his end when he when he returns uh, to his accommodation to show his lot. Or at her, or at his home. Yeah, I think I might do it at home. Yeah, yeah. See you see you like see you then everyone. Goodbye, Tally Clint Railway. See you next time, Tally Clint. again I am back in my accommodation for my final night of the Audrey Extravaganza weekend. Today day two was <sighs> day two was much more fun than yesterday and probably more fun than last year's, in my, in my opinion, to be honest, when I was there. We had, we done a lot more fun things at the railway. Me and Oliver did. We got to see more models and everything but we weren't going to display ours but we did a little bit just a small one of our own and uh, Oliver and me also got the chance to sit in Rusty's cab and, and uh, we also had our photos with Duncan as well before the pop special. Me and my my friends Rosie the Cutie 1995 and Mr. A the Hedgehog did the two memes we did there today. The one Dr. Lively meme if you can get, 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 get what I mean by that, this one me where, where the, new, the same music repeats, and you'll probably get the picture if you get my meaning. You'll see the, the photo of it right here, so, now, so that way you'll get the picture. This was filmed by my friend Casper B12. So special thanks to him for his help with that. 
and we tried summoning the, the thing clergyman, Wilbur Daudry, but failed miserably. But at least we got some results. <laughs> Me and Oliver also went to the excavation. The Audrey excavation, I mean. And check out all the very serious stuff. Wilbur Audrey's lore and stuff. And uh, the TV series props, including close the, the large-scale SKR models. And the close-up models. Uh, the engines and the figurines, like the thing controller, Mr. Percival, and the magician in the close-up model of the of the of one of the scholarly coaches. <laughs> and Oliver just got sneezed on by Henry, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> And we also got to see Wilbur Audrey's layout of the Farquhar branch featuring Stephanie, the Bluebell Engine. And after that, we hopped aboard the Pop Special. And it was a lovely ride. Up, all the way up to Abergenolwyn, the second to last station. Because this has the refreshment room. It was it was a lovely train, especially as we got to sit, sit in the open top coach, painted in the Scarlowy Railway's blue and cream white livery for the, for the Scarlowy coaches in the railway series and some blue coaches in the TV series. Was at Abergenolwyn, we had our lunch a sandwich and some crisps and biscuits and everything. <sighs> Honestly, I got nothing much to say about this, especially for the whole weekend. Apart from the fact that it was wet, but worth it and a much better experience and much more fun and here we and now I know you guys are probably wondering if you're watching this vlog what's with the cha what's with the different change of t-shirts something you you would something I was wearing maroon and then I got back to to wear, then I got to wearing the Audrey Extravaganza 2023 t-shirt. Well, what I was wearing earlier today is this beauty. That t-shirt with the LMS and 41201 is supposed to represent one of my favorite Thomas characters, Arthur. With the LMS and the number one, one, two, four, one. His original concept number that he was supposed to have, which is also the number of the real Ivan tank engine that's preserved to this day at the Keepley and Worth Valley Railway. That's the railway that I'm hoping to visit one day in the near future. So yeah, did I only wore that T-shirt to the railway just for? That me, the me and the Kirsty were doing because we planned this out from the, from the beginning before the event. And I'm happy to say it all went well. It all turned out great. <laughs> now, what I have with me. Are not only things I bought from the gift shop, which are not a lot, but some goodies as well that I've got on the pop special. Yep, the staff have give, given each and every one of us some, a bag of goodies, which contain 
the Audrey Extravaganza mouse mat, which I've already got last year, but I am going to give this away to my friend Gareth17. Just, just for a thought. Next thing, next thing I got is a one of those tiny flim railway. A Chris cloth badge. There's another thing they're giving me. The, then the Audrey Extravaganza 2023 key ring. And the Scar Levy Railway third class ticket. Yep. From Corvus Gate to Lakeside. <laughs> these super neat, these goodies that I am definitely keeping. Except the mouse mat, which I'm giving to Gamma. And what I and what I bought is the Tanny Clint Railway pin badge. And then finally, here I have with me is a Take Along Thomas, given to me by Oliver Featherwing. But it's not, I repeat, not for keeping. Keepsake, I mean. It's not for keepsake. Oliver wants me to turn this Take Along Thomas into his Take Along Custom a train soda, which is basically a greeny too with red stripings on the, on the sides and rainbow colors, color stripings on the boiler top. Which I, which I'm happy to help with. As all it just needs is some green paint and everything, and adjustments to the face because the eyebrows and some of the eyes are a bit have worn off. But nothing a bit of paint can't fix. So nothing much to say, but. Apart from that's the whole Audrey weekend for 2023. Because tomorrow on Monday, I will be making my way on a big journey back home. And again, I'm going to be racing Oliver by train while he goes by car with his mother to see which one of us can make it back home first. Hopefully I'll win this time, but who knows. And after that, that would be it for the vlog. So until then, I will see you all on my big journey home tomorrow. All right, everyone, we got up rather early than expected, didn't we, Oliver? Yeah, we did. Yeah. We got a few minutes before this train goes, so we're going to have a bit of fun whilst at the beach. Yep. We're going to have... Right now... Yeah. We're just having a walk along the beach. As you can see, now. look at this. Yeah. The walk, by the way, we're walking on wet sand. Yep. <laughs> we're going to have sandy shoes on on the way home. <laughs> yeah, they certainly are. Yeah, but still, it's a beautiful day for it. Yeah, isn't it? No clouds or sea. Yeah, it's just good. Yeah. As you see, we're, we're just over Cardigan Bay. Yep, right there. And you can swim in there. I've seen people swim there on videos. Or videos.
Oh yeah, that you did. Yeah. 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 We'll just we'll just have a nice little walk along the on the beach in the beautiful sunny day. Same. It had to be on uh, our last day. Oh dear. Oh. What's this? Oh, you. God, that was my first sneeze on camera. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Here. Yeah. Later on, after that, we 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 might do something else, or we we'll, or or we might head straight back. Yeah, we just don't know yet. Yeah, but we are going to be racing each other again. Yes, back home. And I've got doubts. And I, to be honest, I want him to win because he had a bad day on Monday. Yeah. And I want him to make it. Friday. Right yeah. I mean, meant Friday. I meant sorry. And I want him to win this time. I'm not betting myself. I want Mickey to win because making up on making what's happened on Friday. Yeah, because I I missed my connection to wait to hear. I remember got to walk so steady on this because it's soft sand as Jeremy said. Yep. Uh, so right now we're coming up to the to the open space out there. Yep. I have to switch cameras in a second. So yeah, I'll stop that there. Same here. And we're out of the open. Yeah. More beautiful than I thought it would be. There's a tree branch over there. Where? Over there, look. Just there. Oh, yeah, I see it. Must have come in during the tide. Must have. Somewhere. I think it's one of them now. I don't think you can take one of those big rocks home, I don't think. Nah, <laughs> not that big. Well, you can get some shells. I found some shells on the beach here last time. Maybe. Yeah. I found those little black and white, black and white seashells last time I was here. Sadly, you faded away now, but I still kept it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. But yeah. Well, there's a few stones on the beach like that. Yep. I've had a black in there somewhere. <laughs> well, welcome to Wales. <laughs> My last day to Wales, you think? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a good one. I know, I was really messing around that. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, welcome to Wales. Got a beautiful country in the, in the UK only when it's sunny yeah. and not rainy. Yep. So we'll be coming up to the end right there. Yep. Where that flag is. Yeah, that's the, the yeah the Fairball Railway that Oliver uh, have told me about. Yeah, that'll be my next one when I come back one day. Yeah, I think I might think about oh, considering visiting that little railway one day yeah. if I can, of course. Yeah, you're not meant to be on this point. They'll be during the high tides and strong winds. Yeah, but the tide's out and the wind is light, so so should be good to go. Yeah, right there, you can see the famous Barmouth Bridge. Yeah, I'll pick you a few things about that bridge. Yes, you did, Oliver. No. Quite a lot of history this place has, Barber. Even an old shit right there. <laughs> yeah. Dark. <laughs> 
Yeah. And here we are at the end of the pier. There's not really a lot to see here. Apart from where we just came down. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, let me tell you, these stairs were quite big. Yeah. Like getting down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Oliver. That's all right, mate. Find a good one for you. I don't think you'd be taking these things back. No, never. <laughs> Mind your step. snails as well. I don't know yeah. if they're dead or alive, I just don't know. It's hard to tell really. Yeah. Right then. Mm. What? What do you find? Rubbish. Mm. Seeing each other. Yep. Yeah. I am gonna miss you, Oliver. Well, we will be seeing each other on Discord, though. Yeah. We'll, but we'll always see each other online. Yeah. As, as now we're at the train station waiting for Mickey's yep. train. We're at the station waiting for my train to Birmingham to catch my connection back home. Hopefully, you do go well. Hopefully. Now, yeah. this weekend has been well. We, the weekend has been amazing it certainly has mate we'll go through everything that we've got that we got when we when we return home it's just the light because sorry this is a sneak peek for his channel yep in there right here there's legos for him oliver has kind is kind enough to give me his legos that he doesn't want anymore yeah it's only just random parts and a few mini figures just for me to make better use for them yeah which i appreciate yeah thank you oliver you're welcome well, 
It's time I better catch my train then. Yep. We'll probably record it, Felbert, coming in, and then you'll probably go on the train. Yeah. And I've got to leg it. Yep. Because the race is on. When the train, when the train departs, I've got to leg it. Yes. That's when the race starts. Yeah. So. Enjoyed. So. We hope you enjoy the last race. Yep. We certainly will. I will race. I will see. I will race you to the to the finish line, Oliver. Bye, Oliver. Off he goes. <laughs> Catch me if you can. And I am home safe and sound, my Disney fans. <laughs> but sadly, I've lost this race again. Because take a guess who won. Oliver. Yes. So Oliver, if you're watching this, congratulations on winning both races for this weekend. But next time we, we had a race again, 
I'm definitely gonna beat you this time. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna beat you, and I'm gonna beat your ass. The weekend of all has been very tiring, but worth it and fun. Me and Oliver have been waiting for a whole year since the second Audrey extravaganza last year for the for this third one to happen, and and we've been waiting to go back there. Together one day, and we have <laughs> showing off custom models and and everything, and meeting friends, old and new, and uh, and do a lot of fun activities and so on. But nevertheless, I'm glad to be back home again. But the Legos are not the only thing that Oliver just bought for me. He has also gave me a few Disney things, including the, one of those jiggly heads figurines of Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck that Oliver uh, got for me, including this Mickey Mouse has figurine, a rather old antique one. Because as you can see, it's seen better days right now, it's a bit peeled. But nothing a spot of paint job can't fix. Which I'll see if I can fix it, and he'll look as good as new. Oliver's also given me the Disney's annual book from 1997. Which I am very grateful, which I, I'm so gonna keep this for the rest of my life. It's something worth treasuring. Thank you for that, Oliver. And also, he's also given me a few things from the Neen Valley Railway that he's been to, since I can't really go there right now. Here's a piece of rivet, which I don't know which engine this was from, but I'll ask him later online. And, if you can see in this bag, a piece of coal from the, from the Valley Railway. And just today, I bought a few things in Barmer. Which are... The Wallace and Gromit Solar Power Fig Figurines. You can put a display on the windowsill. Here, or something. Where, where they actually work in the sun. Because of as powered by sun, because that's what they are, solar powered. So Oliver, if you see this, thank you again for your gifts as well. I really appreciate it. But Oliver's not the only one I should thank. I should also be thanking all of my friends and all those people and every and the, and the staff of the Tallycliffe Railway for attending the event and holding this whole event for the last three years. Great friends of mine that I'm, that I'm giving my shout out to are Casper B12, Rizzo2612 Studios, Mr. A the Hedgehog, Rosie the Cutie 1995. Tram Engine Studios, Trainmaster 321, Smurfy Dan, Butterfly Coffee, Mr. Judge, Thomas Fan 8, The Railway Inspector, Tom Marshall, Blue Engine 99, Django Fett 220, Usual Bloke Luke, and everyone else who attended the event that I've met. And that's and the railway staff that I'm giving my shout out to are Terrier 55 Stepney, Luke Ryan, 
and White House Films, aka Michael White, for volunteering for the to work on the railway and for helping with the event and for hosting the event for the last three years. And my big shout out also goes to the TV presenter himself, Tim Dunn, for presenting the whole ta- Audrey Extravaganza live stream on Saturday and for hosting the Diorama competition along with Terrier 55 Stepney. And a and my, and my big shout out goes to to all the people who attended the railway, including all the rest of the staff who worked at the railway. To all those watching who attended the railway and were working there and for hosting the event, thank you so much. And thank you, Oliver, Kirsty. And Rizzo for your um, for your amazing gifts that you've given me. I really appreciated it. Really I do. And I highly recommend each and every one of you who hadn't been there to visit the Tallyclin Railway, not only for any event, but on normal days in general. Oh, to see the railway and its engines for yourself. It is a lovely railway with friendly staff and, uh, and volunteers and everything. Now, the question is, will there be a fourth Audrey Extravaganza next year? Hopefully, there will be. But I know it's going to happen, because it has done for the last three years. So I just know they're going to do the fourth one next year, in 2024. But we'll all have to wait and see. And hopefully, I'll get to go again next year. If not, then to those who will be planning to go, if it does happen, I hope you enjoy yourself. Well, that is all for this whole Audrey Weekend vlog, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed it. And thank you, Oliver Featherwing, for being by my side for the whole weekend. Link to his channel, as well as everyone who attended the Audrey Extravaganza and the staff of the Tallyclear Railway will be in the description below. So you guys can subscribe them and check out their greatest ch ch his content head if you can and the link to Oliver's point of view will be in the dis will be linked in, in the description of this video below if so you guys can check his out if you can to be honest I would link other people's point of views in the description but it's gonna be too much for one description to handle, let's be honest. <clears throat> so, thank you all very much for watching this long but special vlog, everyone. If you enjoyed it, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn my notifications bell on for future content to come. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. And cheers for the Audrey extravaganza. Goodbye.